गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अवर ऑनलाइन लर्निंग ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज सोशलिज्म इन यूरोप एंड द रशियन रेवल्यूशन ओके सो इन दिस सेकेंड पार्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी एंड द सोशल चेंज इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी industrial society and social change and social change industrial society and the social change so uh, this uh, we have seen that uh, after the french revolution in the first part of the video we have seen after the industrial revolution sorry after the french revolution uh, there were the groups or the ideas like uh, liberals radicals and conservatives so they were in support of the transformation of the society so again during the 19th century uh, how was the society which changes were there so industrial so uh, society and the social change so uh, see the political friends were signs of new time the political trends which were the signs of new time new time for example a change in the society okay that is it was the time of profound social and economic change it was the time for profound social and economic change which changes social and economic change okay it was the time of social and economic change so again uh, there were the as industrialization beca became or came in cities grew cities developed towns developed so industrialization was there so because of the industrialization uh, there was emergence of cities emergence of towns again uh, this industrialized region because of the industries uh, again there was emergence of railways you know to transport the goods or the raw material there was a need of railways so railway network also expanded and industrial revolution occurred okay industrial revolution occurred which were the changes industrial revolution industrial revolution okay again there was emergence of cities emergence of cities and towns cities and towns and railway network expanded railway network expanded railway network expanded railway network expanded so these were the changes because of the industrialization because of the industrialization uh, men women and children were forced to join the factory to work in the factories who women men as well as children they had to work in the factories and in factories also the factories in the factories working hours were long and the wages were low how was the situation the working hours were long and the wages were low children were forced to work in the factories to work in the companies women were forced to work in the companies as there was a emergence of cities and towns because of the industrialization uh, people throng to cities to work in the companies so as people went to live in the cities cities were crowded and as cities were crowded there was a problem of sanitation problem of housing housing problem which problem housing problem means living housing problem housing and 
sanitation housing and sanitation these problems were there uh, people were living in small tenements uh, they were living in groups in uh, combined rooms also we can say so uh, housing problems sanitation problems emerged in the cities again uh, if you see uh, liberals and radicals as i told you in the first video that liberals radicals they wanted to transform the society they wanted to change the society so uh, they searched for the methods to eradicate this problem to remove this problem liberals and radicals wanted to do away these problems as a, again uh, liberals and radicals they were the owners of the factories or the owners of the industries most of the industries were owned by liberals and radicals they wanted a change in the society they felt that if we have a labor who is skilled who is educated so this would bring development in the society they felt a need of the change they felt the need to change the society to work for the laborers also if laborers if the poor had capital they could uh, purchase something and in this way their economy will increase so these liberals radicals as they were the owners themselves of these industries they wanted to transform the society they wanted to do away with the society which was controlled by the uh, church and the authorities which were controlled by the aristocrats who used to discriminate they wanted to remove the old regime so these liberals and radicals they wanted to focus on the uh, change of the society that is of the liberals and uh, radicals they wanted again apart from these there were the nationalist nationalist uh, they were in support of freedom they wanted a nation uh, where all people will be free where all people will have equality so these nationalists they wanted the nation based on freedom and equality so they wanted to create the nation where there will be freedom so in europe there uh, after 1815 there were revolutions okay again people were not happy with the type of governments which was established after uh, 1815 in europe people were not happy with the governments uh, which was established uh, after 1815 means at the beginning of the 19th century uh, the people were not happy with the governments and that is why there were the revolutions so these revolutionaries wanted a nation the revolutionaries wanted the nation who wanted revolutionaries 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 wanted nation wanted nation where all are equal and freedom is there and freedom they wanted equality and freedom who these uh, revolutionaries wanted equality and freedom as they were not happy with the establishment of governments after 1815 so these revolutionaries wanted or these nationalist they wanted the nation where there will be freedom and equality uh, again uh, for example in italy in italy country uh, this giuseppe mazzini uh, he conspired with the other people to form the nation giuseppe mazzini of italy he was also a nationalist this giuseppe mazzini uh, he conspired with other people and formed his own nation that is italy he wanted the nation having the equality and freedom so this giuseppe mazzini uh, as he was nationalist he did the revolution and brought freedom to his country and his ideas or his writings are read in india also so that's all in this uh, part 2 of the video that is of uh, history socialism in europe and the russian revolution that's all